everyone, welcome to your first capsule wardrobe video for 2019. Now, what better way to start the new year with a giveaway? My favorite leather handbag designers, Carl Friederich, who you may remember from some of my other capsule wardrobe videos, have very kindly given me two absolutely beautifully made leather goods to share with you guys. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the very end so you know exactly how to go in the draw to potentially win one of these two beautifully made goods. Now on that note, Carl Frederic have also very kindly and generously sponsored and collaborated with me on this video. Now, what is this video all about? Well, it's about corporate capsule wardrobes. In this day and age, I find that so many officers are really relaxing the dress code. However, that's fun and great, but it also makes it really overwhelming and confusing as to what is appropriate to wear in the office. What makes you look too casual? What makes you look inappropriate? What makes you look too stuck up and taking yourself too seriously? It really is very hard. Where do you start? What do you begin with? Well, I'm definitely no fashion expert or guru. However, you guys are really enjoying my Insta stories where I share with you my outfit of the day. In particular, what I wear to the office. You guys are always asking me questions of where I got things, how long I've had them, where to find them. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with you the seven rules that I follow when it comes to dressing for the office as well as the seven staple pieces that form part of my corporate capsule wardrobe. So come with me and pick inside my wardrobe again. All right, staple piece number one is a fantastic skirt. There are so many cuts, colors, fabrics, styles, but having just one fantastic skirt that really works for you and makes you feel like a million dollars is so important. This is one of the key foundations to your corporate capsule wardrobe. Now, this particular skirt, I think I've had for about six years. It is leather on the front and neoprene on the back, so it really gives me a nice, bigger hugging shape. And being leather and neoprene, it never actually needs to be ironed. So I can quickly put this on in a hurry. It's such an incredibly versatile piece. And for me, with my body shape, because I'm quite curvy, makes me feel feminine, but yet still very professional because the length, which is the rule that I follow, hits my knee. Now, some people are really comfortable wearing a short skirt to work, whereas some people think it's more appropriate to wear something to the knee or maybe even a bit lower. But you really need to understand what is appropriate for your office. And when it comes to buying a short skirt, I want you to have a think about what it looks like when you sit, because most skirts ride up when you sit down or also when you bend over, because remember, it needs to be appropriate. You do not want any embarrassing conversations with your boss telling you that you're dressed inappropriately. Always play it safe. So invest in a great skirt that you love and make sure the length is right for you. Staple item number two that I recommend and rule number two that I recommend for your corporate capsule wardrobe is to invest in high quality professional accessories. I'm talking about high quality, beautifully made briefcases, handbags, wallets, phone holders, and of course, laptop holders. There is something that says, I mean business, and I mean serious business. When someone turns up to a meeting with their precious accessories well protected and taken care of, and particularly when there are things that are no logos and no brands, really very simple, timeless, and classic. Now, you guys have previously seen my Carl Friederich classic tote in cognac. It is completely timeless. It has only gotten better with age. But because it is so minimalistic with no loud brands or things hanging off it or loud patterns, it goes with pretty much everything in my capsule wardrobe. And it's just so easy to put everything inside without it losing shape of the bag. I absolutely love it. And I get so many compliments when I wear this bag. Now, Carl Frederic have made an even wider selection of products and they're so beautifully made with the finest quality made in Italy. And they use environmentally friendly compounds when making these bags. These bags are actually dyed with vegetable dye. But actually what I love most about the Carl Frederic bags is they personalize them. So whilst they look very classic and simple and basic on the outside, inside tells a different story. And as you guys would have known, this is actually personalized with my initials inside, which is something really nice when I look inside my bag. Now the team at Carl Frederic have very kindly and very generously given me two beautifully made leather goods to show you and also share with you. 
So first up we have the Pantone briefcase, which actually works perfect with what I'm wearing right now. It is so classic and timeless. Again, no brands, no logos, no busy patterns. It just slips on, is nice and light and really nicely structured. And that's what I really love about a corporate handbag is it's strong, it looks striking, and it's, as I said, it means serious business. Now inside, it's really organized because there is nothing worse than going to a meeting and digging to the depth of your handbag to try and find something and fumble around. You look nervous, you look like you're disorganized and it does not look professional. But if you peek inside this bag, it is really well organized and laid out for you so you can find things quickly. There's enough space to fit in your laptop as well as keep some pens, places to hold your phone and maybe some business cards and also a zip in here to secure any valuables. Also, what I love about this particular bag, which I will be giving away, is it's pink inside. So with some handbags, they tend to be have black lining and they are the worst for finding things in a hurry. Well, not with this, you'll find everything quick and easy. Now, as I said, invest in professional accessories and a great example of this is a laptop cover. Now, when I see someone with a laptop cover, it sends an important valuable signal my way. It tells me that that person cares about their accessories. They don't just throw their laptop around where it gets scratched and damaged. It's the sign of self-respect and self-care, and you can't help but value that. Now, Carl Frederick has made this beautiful Walton laptop brief. It's perfect. My laptop just slides in and stays nicely and safe and protected. And I will actually be giving this away along with the Pantone bag which I love so much. So make sure you watch to the end and I'll show you exactly how you could potentially win this for yourself. So staple item number three and rule number three, and that is to invest in some quality blouses. A beautiful blouse will work so well in your wardrobe. You can tuck it in with a nice skirt. You can wear it with jeans on the weekend even, and it looks fantastic with any cut or style of pants. Now I am particularly a fan of a beautiful silk shirt because it looks so feminine and soft, but yet so professional. And the next silk shirt that I will be buying is from Everlane. I've never bought one of their shirts before, but I own their t-shirts and they are fantastic, but they are ethically made and really reasonably priced. However, my rule with whatever type of blouse you wear to the office is to always, always make sure you have ironed it. You don't necessarily need to spend a fortune on dry cleaning, but just simply iron it so it looks crisp and sharp and professional. Now I'm gonna tell you about a quick little cheat. Now this blouse is from Q and the fabric, I'm not quite sure what the fabrics are, but these shirts from Q are fantastic because they never actually need to be ironed. They come out of the washing machine. If you hang them on a hanger, they will naturally drop and look fantastic. And the great thing also about these shirts is they go in the washing machine. So you don't need to worry about expensive dry cleaning bills adding up over time but I recommend when you buy some blouses, buy a couple so you can rotate them, but buy them in the neutrals, the blacks, the whites, the creams, the navy blues, the grays, so you can get the most out of them. Because remember, a top can be reused and restyled to look, make different looks with different skirts and different pants, and sometimes even layered under or over the top of dresses, like this dress. So remember, make sure you have some beautiful blouses that you love in the style that works for you and that they are always freshly ironed. Staple item piece number four and rule number four, and that is to have appropriate footwear in the office. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of open toes in the office unless you have beautiful toes that have been polished and shaped and look nice and clean. Otherwise, play it safe and stick to a beautifully well-made closed toe shoe. Now my rule when it comes to your shoes in the office as part of your capsule corporate wardrobe is to take care of them. As I mentioned in my shoe wardrobe tour, I always get my shoes sold and the little um, heels done before I wear them. Now this makes sure my shoes last so much longer and it means they don't get tired or tatty looking because that again can look really unprofessional when you have a beautiful outfit but your shoes look like they're about to fall apart. Also have a think about how high your shoes can be. I'm not brilliant at walking in a high heel so 
Generally, depending on if my day and if I'm going to be sitting down or I'm going to be walking up going from meeting to meeting, I will adjust my height. I'll stick to a kitten heel when I've got lots of meetings all over the place so that I can walk around and not look like I'm modeling. Whereas if I'm in the office, I'm going to be sitting in most of my meetings. I can get away with a nice stiletto heel, but I know how high I can go. I know I cannot exceed 10 centimeters. Otherwise I will literally trip over and it is embarrassing. So play it safe when it comes to heel, make sure you are comfortable because that is going to impact the way that you present yourself, particularly in meetings. Staple item number five for your corporate wardrobe and rule number five is to invest in a good quality blazer. Don't go with any loud colors just yet. Build up the staple foundations to your wardrobe and then maybe look at diversifying or experimenting to other colors. But I'll tell you what, whether your office is casual or corporate, it is amazing what a blazer can do to your outfit. I'll give you an example. This is one of my navy blue Balmain jackets. Now, by no means did I go out and buy this jacket because they are quite expensive. I worked my way up. I started off with witchery blazers, which are fantastic. Even De Cuba jackets, their blazers are brilliant at the moment. And Camilla and Mark, I wore some of those. Eventually I was able to afford one of these jackets and they really are fantastic. But it doesn't really matter what brand of jacket is. As long as it's really well made, it fits your body shape. It can actually really transform any classic outfit. It can give it a chic, professional, edgy look and also keep it very professional because you are more covered up. And it really, this is a good blazer, it will go with jeans, it will go with all your dresses, it will look great with a camisole underneath, and even with some cocktail dresses. I've been to cocktail parties with Tom and I've popped this just hanging off my shoulders and it looks so incredibly elegant. I promise you, if you invest in a great blazer, you will never regret it and it will stay in your wardrobe forever. Staple piece number six and rule number six for finessing your corporate capsule wardrobe is accessories. Now I follow one rule when it comes to dressing for accessories. And remember accessories are a fantastic way of finishing off a beautiful outfit. It allows you to show a little bit of personality without overbearing. Now the rules that I follow is I only stick to a few pieces of fine, delicate, dainty jewelry, such as a fine gold chain around my neck, my classic Cartier love bracelet and a delicate bracelet attached to it, and then maybe some small studs and I will keep it at that. Nice and simple and timeless. Or if I feel like shaking things up a bit, I'll take all of this off and I will just simply wear one loud statement piece and that will often be a signature piece. Now a classic example of this is a beautiful long strand of pearls. Pearls that can be wrapped around your neck or hang just once one low like lariat around your neck or even if you like take this and wrap it around your bracelet numerous times so it looks almost like a cuff. But the thing with not overdoing your accessories is you do not want to look like a Christmas tree because not only is it loud and noisy as you move around and jugulate with your hands, it also can be incredibly distracting and it kind of can give off the sense that you've spent way too much time in front of the mirror layering and layering way too many accessories. If you mean business, just keep it nice and simple. And of course, don't be afraid to show your personality, but keep it nice and classic and have just a couple of key pieces because then you start to really own and identify your signature style. And then the final seventh recommended item and rule to follow for perfecting your corporate capsule wardrobe. And that is makeup. I'm not necessarily recommending that you wear makeup or don't wear makeup, but if you want to wear makeup, make sure it is right for you. Pick the shades and colors that writes for your skin type, your skin color, your eye color, your hair color. Invest in a lesson if you need to. Most of the lessons are redeemable for products. So you get to spend an hour with a professional makeup artist who can teach you many tips and tricks to perfect your makeup, make you feel really good and confident about applying your own makeup and really add those beautiful final touches to your makeup. Now, when it comes to makeup, I actually recommend always, and this comes from tips from professional hair and makeup artists from Channel 9, and that is to always invest in a primer and base. So I recommend the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Lumiere, and then finish it off with the Fix and I think Prep and Prime Fix Spray. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. It makes your makeup last all day. But then inside my handbag is actually a little mini capsule 
makeup kit and in here I have things that just to touch up my makeup if I need to during the day so a bit of bronzer a retractable blush brush some blush which is my favorite blush I will link all the products in the description box below M mascara in case it's run off for the day and lip gloss because I'm not great at applying lipstick particularly in a hurry I get it all over my teeth and lips and face a disaster but gloss is great for in a hurry and then of course a simple comb so I can brush my hair before going to a meeting so I walk in looking professional and polished and I feel confident for my meeting ahead now I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video now here is the competition details if you would like to be in the draw to win either of these two beautiful Carl Frederick leather items, I'd like you to put a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what you love the most about the Carl Frederick range. You can click on the link in the video description box below and see their whole entire range. Report back to me and let me know what you love the most about their range. Make sure you have also subscribed to my channel, liked the Sugar Mama Facebook page, and I will pick the best answer, the most original answer, and then I will get in contact with you so I can post to you your new beautiful Carl Frederick leather good. Good luck everyone and remember if you like this video give us a thumbs up and share the competition details with all your family and friends because who doesn't want a new handbag or leather good? And a very special thank you to Carl Frederick for proudly sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. It's an honour to be able to share and show you your goods. Ciao for now everyone and I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao.